According to a recent service news release, the 1-229 Attack Reconnaissance Battalion becomes the first operational unit to receive the AH-64 E version 6, or V-6 Apache helicopter. The V-6 is equipped with an open systems design including the latest communications, navigation, sensor, and weapon systems. The model has multiple upgrades with the improved Lockheed Martin Modernized Target Acquisition Designation Site, or Pilot Night Vision System, which includes a new integrated infrared laser for easier target designation and enhanced infrared imagery capabilities. The Gen 3 Day Sensor Assembly or Gen 3 DSA doubles the sensor's field of view and increases resolution. The addition of color imagery improves target detection and identification. The Gen 3 DSA adds a lot of value to the Apache. The addition of near-infrared NIR, signature, and color vision for the gunner makes target discriminations much easier, minimizing miscommunications within the cockpit, team, or platoon, said Chief Warrant Officer 2 Logan Featherston, a pilot with C Company, 1-229 ARV. It fills in critical details about the target and area around it that we didn't previously have, minimizing the risks of an engagement. Another pilot agreed. It is impressive to use the Gen 3 DSA under the right conditions to clearly identify objects and personnel at over 20 kilometers. The upgrades to the Longbow Fire Control Radar FCR, add a maritime capability that the AH-64 community has been talking about for a long time, Chief Warrant Officer for Sven Anderson, a battalion standardization instructor pilot, said. The Gen 3 DSA is a real game-changer. It puts the Apache into a position where our sensors are outranging our weapon systems. We can identify targets before we are even in range to shoot them which allows us to better leverage long-range precision fires from other platforms and reduce our signature. The V6 also has Link 16 communications, which allows the Apache to switch network connections on the spot and merge different networks for an operational picture. This results in the delivery of real-time situational awareness to the cockpit. The software also supports the exchange of text messages, imagery data, and provides two channels of digital voice. The Gen 3 DSA and several of the software changes overall make the system more intuitive, saving time and effort, which allows me and my peers to spend more energy and time focused outside and on the bigger picture of where the aircraft is in time and space," Featherstone added. Crew members can receive unmanned aerial systems UAS, video in the cockpit, control UAS sensors and direct the flight path of the UAS. The crew members can also share real-time situational awareness of the operational environment and enemy forces to soldiers on the ground. The Longbow radar updates adapted the capabilities to naval activities, allowing the radar to track vessels while also doubling Longbow's detection range. The V6 software also has the ability to track small unmanned aircraft, turning the aircraft into a lethal counter-unmanned aerial systems platform and has manned unmanned teaming e-expanded MUMTX, software installed which allows Apache pilots to directly control Army unmanned aerial systems. The Apache will remain a vital element of the US military because of the V6. I think that the version 6 does add a safety factor on the aircrew side, Featherston said. The less effort pilots have to spend focusing inside on target identification and clicking around to get the information they need, the safer the overall aircraft will be. This new version of the Apache is an enhanced weapon and sensor platform and a vital link between the Army's ground forces and manned and unmanned aircraft. The upgrades allow for improved quality of training and operation on the battlefield.